In today's tutorial, we're going to roam. And this is the exact tutorial that we're making. So we're using this reveal effect with a lot of zooms and animations happening in the background in Canva in just a few minutes. And I think it's a really powerful way to present something and reveal information on a presentation. So this presentation, I'll break it down into two parts. The first part will be the creation of the slide. And the second part will be the layer on top and the animation part. And we're starting from a blank canvas. First thing we want to do is we want to add the background picture. So go to elements and here we type in Rome. Click on see all pictures and then look for a nice picture that you want to use in your presentation. I think I'll go for something of the Colosseum. I think that will look typical to Rome. You can always narrow it down if you want to Colosseum. So you can add more keywords to filter down the selection. And then you can just pick whichever one you like. I'm going for a landscape model and I think this one looks perfect. So I'm going to drag it on the slide. Close this down. And now we have the basic setup of the picture. Now let's add the layers to the slide. So we're going to Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create a duplicate of the picture. Go to Edit Image and Background Remover. And this will remove the background from the Colosseum. We're going to adjust the crop marks so it just fits around the walls of the Colosseum. And then we can put our text behind it. So we're going to add a text and then click on title. Here we can type in Rome, give it a white font color, and I'm going to choose the font. I'm going to go for impact here. Increase it in size, and then we're going to place it at the top right, right about here. I'm going to add some shadows, so go to effect and lift. This is a bit too much, so I'm going to reduce the intensity so that we still have a small lift of the text and the background, but it will look a lot cleaner. Go to position. And now we're going to rearrange it so that we take the picture without the background and we're going to put it on top. So the letters of Rome appear in between. Now to add for this extra realism effect, I'm going to add a shadow here. So I'm going to elements and I'm going to type in shadow. We want to go to graphics and then select one of these shadows here. I'm choosing a oval one and I'm going to position it at the top of the Colosseum. I'm going to slightly curve it and then place it around here. Position and then drag it in between the text and the without background layer. You can reduce the transparency to make it a bit softer. That looks very clean. Now we're going to create a duplicate of this slide. So duplicate page. And on the second one, I'm going to select all of the objects. So now I have the text shadow without background. I hold the shift key to select the background image as well. And then drag them all at once and scale them up just a little bit. Position everything nicely in the center. It doesn't have to be too much, just that little zoom effect will look great in the animation. So here we can see them side by side. It's very subtle, but you just zoom in that little bit extra on the Colosseum. Now to see what happens in this effect, I'm going to open up the show pages here, hover in between the slides, add transition, and do the magic move. Change the duration to something around two seconds, and let's preview that already. So here, once we click, we zoom in on the slide a little bit. Now we want that extra dramatic reveal effect. And for that, we drag the text down. And it doesn't matter that we see it here on the right because we're going to add a layer on top of it anyways. So if I show this effect again, we will see that the text rises up and the picture zooms in. Now, the last thing we have to do is we have to add that extra layer on top. And we'll do that right now. I'm going to go to a new page just for the convenience and press the R key for a rectangle. Put it in a corner and drag it all the way to the right. And now grab that rectangle and drag it a bit to the side. We're going to give it a yellow color. Give it a nice color or any color that you want. Go to elements. And here we want to type in hand. Go to photos. And here you can see a lot of hands with transparent backgrounds. We're looking for one where we kind of hold the paper. So this one could work. But I think if we go for that pulling effect, one of these, this one will be perfect. I'm going to reduce it in size. so scale it from the sides and then rotate it. If you rotate it 90 degrees, you'll see that this picture, it doesn't line up perfectly. So if we line it up at the top, we have this gap here at the bottom. So we're going to rotate it one or two degrees and then use the arrow key to shift it to the side. Now for me, this looks a bit fake and not very realistic. So what I'm going to do is select the image, edit image, and then add a shadow, add a drop shadow. And now we play around with the intensity because this is a bit too much. I'm going to increase the blur and reduce the intensity so that it looks like there's a bit of a drop shadow from the hand. You can change the angle 
so that it sort of falls to the bottom here. Of course, this means the picture is shrinked, so I have to adjust it so it nicely matches. And this already looks a bit more realistic. Control C, Control V to create a copy or Control drag. And of course, the thumbs don't look very nice. So we're going to flip it, flip horizontal to make it match. Now that means we have to rotate it one or two degrees to the other side and then position them next to each other. I'm going to do one degree less. I think that will work. Now grab both hands and position them where you like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size. So now we have this yellow box exactly the size of the page. I'm going to increase it just a little bit more and then position it again at the top of the hands. The reason why we do this is because we want to have that extra space to cover up the entire slide. Select the rectangle, hold shift and select both hands and now press group. This way we have a very nice image that we can slide over the slides. Now you can add some text if you want. So add a title. For example, we're going to dot 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 as a reveal effect, make it larger and let's make the font white as well. I have to select the text first, make it white and then position it somewhere in the middle of the slide. Hold the shape, hold shift and select the text and group these together as well. So everything acts as one page or as one shape. So now a final thing for an extra clean effect is let's shift it to the side, press R once more. A rectangle, we're going to place it up front and we're going to reduce the transparency all the way to zero. Hold shift, select group and group everything together. Now the reason we do this is because we have our extra margin here at the top. I'll show you in a bit why. Select the entire group, control C and place it on the first page. We're going to drag it to the left and this is the opening slide. Now we go to the second page and press control V again to paste it on the second slide. Now here we want to drag it to the right and we drag it all the way off the screen. And the reason why we've added this transparent object is because we don't lose our selection. If we were to put the selection outside of the canvas, it disappears so we can no longer grab it. That's why we want to make sure that we have this transparent box, then we can move the entire image off the screen. This one I can now delete, match and move. We can put it to two seconds and now let's preview. And this is how you can create this reveal effect in Canva with a lot of animations and zooms happening in the background. But I think it really adds to that dramatic effect. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.